All right, what's up everybody? So this week, we're gonna talk about the best lighting kit to have. But first, let's roll the intro. All right, but before I start this, I just wanna say that this is my opinion and this lighting kit works for me. It may or may not work for you. But with that being said, let's go ahead and roll the video. So I'm gonna start off with my with my smallest light and that would be this small LED light uh, from Viltrox. And I like this light because I use it as a as an eye light. And what I mean by eye light is it's just a small little light that you can see uh, the dot in your in like a actor's eye. It helps create like a soul for that actor. And the good thing about it, it's uh, battery powered. So I don't need it to be attached to a uh, extension cord or anything like that. You can attach it. It does have a, for a power outlet, but um, that's the good thing about this one. It's just LED, a small LED. And uh, this one comes very helpful for the, for the eyes. I would also say these are my new lights, the Nanlite Pavel tubes, uh, the 15C, just because uh, these are great. Uh, you know, you have, you don't have to have it connected just like that one. You don't have to have it connected to an extension cord. You can, but ultimately they, they're, they're rechargeable and stuff. So you can just have it uh, wherever you want. And the cool thing about them is that you can, um, like ha they have uh, special effects, like you have lightning, it has uh, police car effects and all that other stuff, which I am eventually gonna use the, the police uh, effect on it for a future shoot that I have in mind. And then, yeah, you know, these, these lights are really, really good. I would recommend these lights for sure. Let's go to my VL300s and my VL150. I have two VL300s and one VL150. This is my VL150 here. Uh, and then my VL300 and my other VL300 here. They're great lights. I love these lights because they're bright. And the thing that I, the thing that I did for these lights is um, I created, uh, I did this uh, spray painted them so I can know exactly what cases for what. And and right away I know like, okay, I need the 300. So I open it up and, you know, I customize it to, to my liking. Great lights. I love these lights for sure. I would recommend it. Another light that I have is this big one right here. It's a 1K uh, light. I love it because it floods everything and it's very, very bright. Um, the only thing about it is just a very warm temperature. Let's talk about um, accessories, you know? Uh, what I have for, for these lights here is I have a Fresnel attachment. And this is the Fresnel attachment that I own. Um, thing that I like about this is you can, uh, you can move it from 40 degrees to 12 degrees. So you can make it kind of into a spotlight or you can make it really wide. Um, and this attachment is really cool because I worked with this during in uh, film school, not specifically this, but for now, for now lights. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is a cool attachment if you want like a hard light um, for something soft. If you want something more of a soft light and you don't want it to be as harsh and just kind of roll off. Uh, I do have a, a soft box from Nice Photo. It's, it's like the biggest one, which is like the 47 inch um, soft box. Uh, and it has a grid on it, which I like it because the grid will help it more directional instead of it kind of just flowing out into the room. Where I mainly use it for the, the VL300s just because it's the brightest. Uh, and it's a very big uh, soft box. So I have that. Uh, I got these gels uh, from a while back, but um, this would be uh, an opal uh, to help kind of like cut down light. If you want to like, like for this light, if it's too bright and you kind of want to dip, like you don't want to use a dimmer, you use this and it'll soften the light and it won't be as harsh. But pretty much I have it on the milk crate where you can see like I, I kind of did this DIY thing. I see, uh, I saw a gaffer one day, uh, he had his gels on uh, on a milk crate and he had it like gridded off in this kind of pattern. And I, that's where I got the idea from. Um, and I was able to split up like, okay, like I want the CTOs there, the CTBs, the uh, NDs, NDs filters, the opals, the um, softeners. And then we got some colored gel, which is red, um, you know, really cool. Uh, oh, and then I have a purple right here, actually. Um, 
So, you know, it's just a matter of like staying organized. And this is the way I stay organized with this specific jail set. Um, I do want to get more of these. These come in really helpful because you want to change the light to a red, then you just change it. Nowadays with, with uh, certain lights, you can actually change the, um, the color temperature. Like these nan lights, you can change it to orange, red, uh, blue, purple, whatever. But back in the day when I was in film school, we didn't really have those lights. So we had to use a lot of gels and I, I learned, I learned uh, lighting on, on gels and stuff. A great accessory to lighting is uh, C-stands. That's my number one thing uh, that, um, that comes to lighting uh, because they're very like maneuverable, you know? Like you can move a certain C-stand to kind of just uh, if you want a silk on it, you can attach a silk on it, uh, which is what I have right here. Um, and I have it on a C-stand. Uh, I do want to get more C-stands. Uh, right now, I, I have another one coming in. Um, I do have them from Impact. They're a company called Impact on Amazon. So this C-stand actually is the one that I used for to boom the eternal sunshine of a spotless mind, the camera out for like a good 20 feet out, just because uh, this one has a quarter threads attachment on it. So that I mounted the camera on it and then I like, boomed it out. I do just have uh, like uh, two light stands, but I got them. Um, this one uh, I got a while back and this one I bought it with, uh, with a combo on the VL300. Um, so I just get them just because back in the day, I thought I would use a light stand. I do want to talk about uh, this. This is a cinefoil. Uh, this is just like regular foil, but it's painted black so that light won't bounce everywhere compared to like if you were to have just regular foil, it'll just kind of bounce and make everything look wild. But uh, this is, yeah, this is cinefoil. Uh, the thing that I like about it is that it's very maneuverable. Uh, you can like kind of make it into whatever you want, rip it off, cut it off. You can make a hole and then just put it on the light and it'll just kind of beam a little hole, like a poke a little hole through, through the light. So I actually use this, this cinefoil for Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind where I uh, ha attached it to the Fresnel attachment, to this Fresnel attachment so that it can kind of craft the light and it can give me more um, a texture feel and it looks like trees kind of thing, like kind of creeping in. Um, I used that for it. Um, so, and you know, that's the good thing. You just literally kind of wrap it around the light and it stays there and you can like see, uh, see you can clamp it down as well and stuff, but mainly that's, you know, that's what it's good for. Also, if you have a lot of C-stands, I would recommend getting uh, sandbags because you're gonna be booming out uh, lights and flags. And on a windy day with these flags, you wanna have sandbags to uh, make sure that you don't, uh, that the C-stand doesn't flip over or hit an actor or hit you in the face because it's happened. Um, so, you know, just grab sa uh, sandbags. They do have some on Amazon. You just have to kind of go to the beach and create a, uh, like get sand for yourself kind of thing. Um, I don't know if it's illegal, but if it is, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> um, with that being said, I hope you guys learned something in today's video about my lighting equipment. Um, if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these lights or any of this equipment that I have here, it is in the description down below. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Uh, I will be replying to all of them and thank you guys again for watching this week's video. I appreciate you guys that watch it and stick to the end. I love you guys and don't forget to subscribe. Just click here. Thank you. Love you. Bye. <laughs>